Welcome back, grade six, to chapter four, section five, adding and subtracting decimals. Today, we're going to be using money to add and subtract decimals. And when we do this, we are always going to have a single number in the ones column. That is our dollar. We're always going to have uh, two digits in the cents. So that would be tenths and hundredths. However, we commonly refer to that as simply cents. So take these gloves, for example. We could call this 80 cents or 0.8 of a dollar. If this was just a pure decimal number, we could just call it 0 0.8. But when dealing with money, we always have two digits to the right of the decimal in the 10 cent pieces and in the cents. Of course, there is no cent anymore in Canada in terms of cash money, but you can still be um, charged for the cents if you're paying with debit or credit. So let's take a few examples here. Say I wanted to buy this jacket for $9.95 and this hat for $2.80. We could, if we wanted, convert this to 995 cents and this to 280 cents and then add them together. That's fine. There's no problem with that. And then convert the cents back into dollars. We could absolutely do that. However, we're going to see if we can do this with a bit of mental math. So I'm going to change these numbers around to make them easier to do in our heads. I'm going to change the 995 because it's so close. I'm going to change that to $10. I added five cents. However, because I added five cents to the 995 to make it $10, I'm going to remove the five cents from the $2.80. So my sum is exactly the same. The only difference is I moved a bit of the money around. So I took five cents from the $2.80 and brought it over to the 995 to give me $10. 9.95 to $10 and then $2.80 to 275. So I took 5 cents from here and brought it here. So now this by looking at it, we call that by inspection, we can add it up very very quickly, which would be $12 and 75 cents. And that was done all with mental math. Something similar with this one here. $7.90 is very, very close to $8. So we're going to find out how far away from $8 we are. That's 10 cents. We are 10 cents away from $8. So we're going to take 10 cents from $8.75 and bring it over to the $7.90. So if we take 10 cents from $8.75, we're left with $8.75 and 65 cents plus eight dollars so the sum once again is the same 875 we took 10 cents from 875 made it 865 and took that 10 cents and added the seven night seven dollars ninety cents and now we've changed this question into eight dollars sixty five cents plus eight dollars so we can add up the eight and the eight the dollars first and that's sixteen dollars and the cents and that's 65 cents so that's a, another way of doing it in this case we have three items that we're purchasing so we can once again use numerous different strategies for this we could try breaking up the 80 cents and making this a full eight dollars and this a full three dollars so changing seven dollars ninety to eight and then two dollars eighty cents to three let's see how much we need we need ten cents to make this eight dollars we need twenty cents to make this three dollars and that means we're going to take it from here so we added ten cents we added twenty cents that's thirty cents so if we added 30 cents, we're going to be taking it from the 80 cents, which leaves us with 50 cents. So now we can add these up. $8 plus $3 is 
$11 plus 50 cents is $11 and 50 cents. We can also use similar strategies when subtracting decimals. Say for instance, we are paying with a $10 bill and we wanted to buy this jacket. If we paid $9.95, that's tax inclusive, how much change would we get back from a $10 bill? We could start off with $10 and then remove $9.95, but that's a lot of work for this question. For this question, it makes much more sense to count up from $9.95 as if we were on a number line like I showed you in a previous section. So in your head, imagine you're already at $9.95. How many cents do you have to add to $9.95 to get to $10? In that case, it's 96, 97, 98, 99, and $10. So we only had to add five cents. So in this case, we would get five cents back. That would be the counting forward method that we showed you using a number line. Now we have this other question down here. Say I wanted to find out how much more this sweater was, this 875, was than this hat. How much more does the sweater cost than the hat? So I'm finding the difference. So we have two options. We can count forward like we did for the first one or we can do a take away or remove. Let's try that one for this one. So $8.75, I must remove $2.80. So let's try removing the dollars first. So $8.75 minus $2 equals $6.75. That's one that we can do mentally in our heads without much difficulty. So that's all there, but we still haven't removed the 80 cents. We have to remove the 80 cents. So let's do that now and subtract 80 80 cents. So to subtract the 80 cents, if, if we subtract 75 cents, this would be exactly $6, but we are not subtracting 75 cents, we are in fact subtracting 80 cents. So $6 minus 5 more cents would be $5.95. Both of these systems work exactly correct. By all means, please check your answers with a calculator. I'm encouraging you to use all of the different uh, tools you have available to you. Specifically, think of these the ones that are money especially, and as how you could use the mental math strategies on a number line, the counting forward, so you can make sure that you develop this ability when dealing with currency. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.